Hello and welcome back to UIE TV channel. Please subscribe our channel to get further videos automatically in your inbox. Portuguese search wells in case of missing Madeleine McCann. CNN Portuguese authorities have conducted searches in three wells, according to witnesses, near where British toddler Madeleine McCann disappeared 13 years ago. A local law enforcement source confirmed to CNN the searches last Thursday were related to the investigation into the disappearance of McCann, but as far as the source knew, no new information was discovered. The Portuguese Judicial Police PJ, officers from the National Guard GNR, as well as at least one diver from the fire department were involved, witnesses in the village of Budens, near Praia de Luz, told CNN. McCann was three years old when she went missing in 2007 while vacationing with her family in Praia de Luz. Prosecutors in Germany said recently they have evidence that may link a man there to the case, the first major movement in the long-running and prominent case after years of little progress. The wells are about 15 minutes away from Praia de Luz, on a road that leads up to a semi-secluded beach popular among foreigners, especially among those who travel in camper vans. The suspect in McCann's disappearance had lived in Portugal's Algarve region from 1995 to 2007, and also resided in a house in Praia de Luz, according to the German prosecutor's office in Braunschweig. Prosecutors last month said they have evidence that the man, now jailed in Germany for another crime, killed McCann, but not enough to charge him. According to Express News UK, Madeleine McCann found? English-speaking girl called Maria discovered in Rome. A homeless teenager in Rome has received attention from across the globe with many people speculating that she is Madeleine McCann because of her appearance and her ability to speak English. The girl has caught the attention of the authorities because of her politeness and her lack of Italian. Internet campaigners think the girl could be one of several missing people, including Madeleine McCann who disappeared in 2007, and think she bears a striking resemblance to her. The teenager has been walking around with old clothes on, no belongings and has not accepted cash from locals. Photos have been shared of the teenager online in a hope that she can be reunited with her family for Christmas. Madeline vanished from Praia de Luz Holiday Resort in Portugal in May 2007 at the age of three and authorities are still trying to understand what happened to her. The Italian police have tried to identify the girl, who is sleeping rough on the streets with no passport or ID. Madeline had a distinctive mark on her eye and it would be easier to tell if it was her by that identification. Campaign group Houston's Voice for the Missing wrote on Facebook, This girl needs help. I have been in constant contact with everyone from Mamak, Rome police, locals journalist, the embassy, locals and anyone else I could think of. Police refused to identify her. I found a local willing to go out to her then call me on FaceTime so maybe I could get something out of her. But we will see. She has also been linked to a number of other missing persons cases, including Amanda Adlai, who was abducted in Michigan in 2008, and Maria Bridget Helmsman who disappeared from Germany in 2008. The disappearance of Madeleine McCann, one of the biggest crime mysteries of the past decades blown wide open. As German authorities say they have a new suspect, the investigating state prosecutor now telling CNN they're confident they have the right guy, but don't yet have enough evidence to prove it in a court of law. We actually have findings that suggest that it is Madeleine McCann's murderer, he says. But to make that clear again, at the moment there is insufficient evidence to convict. German authorities have not put out a picture, but are saying the suspect is a 43-year-old German citizen. But CNN has confirmed his name to be Christian B. Prosecutors say the suspect lived in this house in Praia de Luz, Portugal at the time the then three-year-old Madeleine McCann disappeared from this tourist resort in 2007. They also say a cell phone listed under his name has been located to have been in the area at the time of Maddie's disappearance. Authorities also released pictures of these two vehicles he used at the time. Another clue? British police say he tried to re-register one of them after Maddie vanished. Most intriguing um, is he, he, he re-registered the car um, on May the 4th. This is the day after um, Madeline went missing. 
he asked a friend to register the car in his friend's name. For years, law enforcement in Portugal, the UK and other nations tried to find Matty, but there has been virtually no trace. Portuguese police even investigated her parents, Kate and Jerry McCann, as prime suspects for some time. Both have been formally cleared. While British police are still treating the case as a missing person inquiry, German authorities say they are sure Maddie is dead. The state prosecutor telling us there are hints he may have killed the girl shortly after she was abducted. We have no clues which indicate that the girl would have actually been held wherever for a long time, he says, which suggests that the deed itself most likely happened rather close to the disappearance. Christian B. is currently serving a jail sentence in Germany for an unrelated crime. Law enforcement are asking the public for, for any information that could help find out what happened to Maddie. But also because they believe Christian B. has harmed more people, the prosecutor tells me. According to the information available to us, it is almost certain that there will be further victims, he says, especially victims of sexual offenses. We do not know in detail whether it is a matter of British victims or German or possible other nationalities, but we are very sure there are more victims. German authorities say they have already received hundreds of tips in their effort to finally find out what really happened to Madeleine McCann more than 13 years after she disappeared. So as you guys can see, this could potential be a very big case here uh, in Europe. The prosecutors also, by the way, saying that, of course, they're aware that this new information that they're putting out is also very painful, of course, for Maddie's parents. They say they talked to them before going public in this case. And uh, guys, this morning, I was actually also in contact with the suspect's lawyer as well. He says so far his client is choosing to remain silent. John. I got to say, it's got to be so painful for the family, even after all these years. Frederick Plykin, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for watching Universal Information and Entertainment TV. Please like and subscribe our channel for more updated videos, news, information and entertainment. See you in next video. Stay tuned.